vlog day, 527. It's not even 5 a.m. and he's up and moving. And I believe once he's up and moving, it's time to poop him or you pay a penalty. So down we go. Ready? We just barely missed him sneezing, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Ready? All right, we're almost out of here. This is a, we, just, we are quite the pair. The real question is, do I feed him now? Because it is a little early, it's like an hour or two early, but if I don't, what will he think? I don't know, I'm gonna, I guess I'll feed him. It takes him a while to eat it anyways. I'm just hoping he doesn't just go ahead and start pooping right away. <laughs> Can't really see. Okay, it's 8.30. I turn on the light, but it's like, <laughs> it's just red. Ugh. 8.30, moment of truth time. I hear him scrounging around out here. We're kind of on the hunt for poop, and hopefully not with our feet. We're gonna try and make it safely to the light switch across the way. Hey there, dog. Did you poo? In the house? No? Looks pretty good, actually. Hi. How'd you sleep? Yeah. I'm gonna put on a shirt. I'm gonna start coffee and then I'm gonna take him out and poop him one last time. I gotta go. I gotta leave here shortly so I gotta start putting stuff away but just to be safe you know after I do a full search of the place I'm gonna go ahead and take him outside just to make sure that he makes it until they get back whenever that's gonna be. Oh no. Merry Christmas, by the way. Surprisingly really good. I mean, I'm just not a black coffee drinker. It's tasty. So like I said outside, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now, you might be thinking with a title like Single and Alone on Christmas, hamming it up. Yeah, just hamming it up. That said, uh, I am gonna hang out with Cheryl this afternoon. We're gonna have um, our lonely Christmas together. And actually, the plan is, I'm pretty sure we're not joking about this. Um, we're going to go and do like a Tinder photo shoot because I'm not gonna, so it's, kind of for, it's kind of for science. I'll explain after I eat my, I'll explain after I eat my Christmas nachos. I hope there's some yolk left going on in here. And fork. Oh yeah. I need to pack. I want to have some more chips and salsa, but uh... <clears throat> Done. I've done dishes, packed everything, made sure the pug was still alive and sleeping. I'm gonna have one last Christmas treat because I know it's not really traditional, but I, tortilla chips. I mean, it's not every day that you come across with tortilla chips. So I'm gonna make sure to have some chips and salsa. Enjoy the Christmas ambiance of the apartment in Montmartre. I'll say goodbye to Montmartre today and then we'll go join uh, Cheryl. But I'm gonna do some, I'm basically gonna enjoy my snack, respond to some YouTube comments uh, while listening to Christmas music and then We'll head over where we'll hang out with Cheryl for the afternoon and have, I think, a Christmas dinner. I, and I'm pretty sure I was supposed to bring like a dessert. In my mind, I thought oh, I'll buy that at the bakery in the morning. That the bakeries aren't open today. Checked. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Gotta pause it for a second because holy cow, rain! Thank you. Merry Christmas. 
Good grief, stop music for ring. Ah, can't get the music to stop. Thank you so much. A huge pledge on Patreon, if you guys have been paying attention to Patreon, $50 a month. Holy cow, thank you. That was incredibly generous. You are amazing. Wow, Merry Christmas, thank you, you did, wow, wow. Holy cow, Th thank you so much. I don't even know how, what else to say, Rain, except thank you, the Merry Christmas, and I'm gonna send you a nice long message now to thank you again. Thank you, okay, back to it. That was really exciting news. The uh, the whole like Rain becoming a patron thing. Thank you, Rain. That was crazy. That made my that made my morning. It's been so good to be thinking about. There's so much to be thankful for in the world. So it's one of the reasons. I guess we might as well just start out by saying just because the title sounds super lonely and maybe Christmas here away from my family without a significant other or my own pug. Although I do have quite an adorable pug in the back room there. Is you know kind of a lonely thing for sure. Kind of sad at the same time. Dude, life is really good right now. So much to be thankful for. Or if you want to be grammatically correct, so much for which to be thankful. You get it. Anyways, gonna take out the trash. Head to Cheryl's. I'm running slightly late. Oop, put my toothbrush away. This backpack is just falling apart. Okay. <laughs> just in case you're wondering how I film my hand like that, while carrying my laundry. It's cause that's what chins are for. Pretty sure this is where the trash is. Okay, my chin is tired. Oh, blah. And that's how you develop a strong jaw. Cheryl's favorite cider that she just told me you can't get in the UK. Why can't you get it here? You can get it in the UK though. Yeah, I don't know. Well, they don't really sell cider. Oh, uh, that's true. Like, what I really wanted to get was gin, but try and find a decent gin in France. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. That's really good. Mimi drew blood. You mean old Katie cat. Here you go, Dave. This is your Christmas present. Mimi drew blood. It's very little, but when she attacked my leg, Not bad for a tiny little kitty cat. I see you there watching me. Don't pretend you're not. <laughs> You'll see this on her channel sometime soon, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, is there, this isn't even recording yet, okay. No, you'll focus on your face. Oh, yeah. Go. Well, we just did our chat. That was a good long chat, actually. It broke it into three files, so then we must have yeah, gone for like... I think it must have been 20 minutes. Something like that. It's really good. I think one of the key things, I'll let you guys go check out Cheryl's channel. Although, when will you have it up, do you think? I'm going to edit it tonight. Whoa. I'm going to have it up tomorrow. Whoa. Okay, check out Cheryl's channel because she's going to have that video up right away. I think one of the biggest takeaways for me from it, and I'll let you watch the whole thing if you want to see everything we talked about because I think it was really good. But for me, it was that just, I don't, f so I know that today we're joking around about like being alone and like Tinder and other horrible things, but the reality of it is that I don't, I don't feel alone on Christmas today. I'm really happy that A, for friends, B, for pugs, uh, but also because you guys have made such a huge difference. Like having this connection through YouTube to a bunch of people who are very much invested in what's going on. Got a bunch of random Christmas presents today. Thank you so much. Just a bunch of really nice notes, comments, all of that. And so just the knowledge that I'm gonna be able to share my Christmas day with a whole bunch of you kind of negates the fact that it's alone, so to speak. And then getting to hang out with Cheryl makes a huge difference too. So. And eat my disgusting British Christmas food. I don't know why you keep saying disgusting. I think it's gonna be good, but now I'm getting con increasingly concerned. Um, so anyways, I'm really, really grateful for you guys this year. It's just been crazy, it's been so nice. So this was not as nearly as eloquent as what I said on her channel, so go check that out. And we're gonna eat and then go check out street art, and I'm sure we'll have more chats as we go. <laughs> Here, but if you kind of follow the metro line, there's just loads of amazing street art. 
We're on a bit of a street art hunt. Cheryl apparently has been mapping it out. So really this is more of a street art hunt than anything, but we're gonna take advantage of it and try to do a photo shoot, but I didn't really bring any clothes for a photo shoot. So, I will see, I love this. Oh, wow, that's huge. House ladies and gentlemen, do we think it's real? I'm pretty sure that this, there's no way this couldn't be real. Found another one right there. That's why you gotta keep your eyes up. I haven't found any Space Invaders in a long time. This is fun. See, Christmas can be great when you're by, when you're hanging out with Cheryl doing Space Invaders. Way too far away. We have to get closer for that one. There's so much street art around here. Got those guys over there. I know, you did a great, this is great. I've never seen this stuff. Look at that. Oh, we can barely see it. Oh, and I just stepped some dog poop. She's got one more that she's sure she's seen around here somewhere. Very dedicated to locating it right now. That's still, that was amazing. The street art down here is great. So we're, this is Place d'Italie if you wanted to come here and walk along line six, it comes above ground just over here. And then you just walk along line six to the river or you could go to like about Gare d'Austerlitz and then walk this way from there and you'll find some really, really cool street art. Not all of which we showed you, so you'll have to come find it on your own. Oh, look at that. You wanna get your thumbnail shot here? Okay. Wildly successful street art hunt. We're on our way back for dinner, and then, uh, come here, ticket. Why didn't you like that one? Has this one already been used? Mine too. Okay, so just jump the turnstile, I guess. Oh yeah, that's a good one. So the science that I was talking about earlier that we just kind of ignored was that the fact of the matter is that for whatever reason, I deleted Tinder off my phone like six months ago, seven months ago, because why use it? And largely because it doesn't work for me. Like I can swipe right all day. I'll do this as a demonstration and get absolutely no matches. And the theory was that it was because I have terrible photos, which is true. I don't have any really good photos of myself. So we're kind of doing it just to see, does that change things just by changing the photos? Or am I e-undateable, which could also be possible. So you look at that face, totally possible. That's exactly what happened. So anyways, that was kind of where that came from. So that's what I meant by it being a little bit for science. But if you're not gonna have Tinder on your phone, then I'm gonna feel weird having Tinder on my phone. Oh, is this where we're gonna do this experiment together? Yeah, well, we already know how it's gonna go for you. You're gonna get like five dates, like, in 30 seconds. Which is exactly what I don't want. And I'll be like sitting there lonely, lone, alone, swiping right all by myself. Anyways, that's what that was about. We're gonna have Christmas dinner now. I'll let you know how the Tinder thing goes if I even actually put it back on and whatnot, but. Got nice pictures anyway. Yeah, it did. We got some really fun photos, it's true. How's dinner coming along? Um, I hope it's okay. It smells really good. It smells great. I hope we don't die. We're gonna live. How did those pictures turn out? That was what I was gonna say. And then you're gonna say. Oh, very well. Something like that. And then <laughs> then you would rotate the computer and they would they would be on it. Oh, okay. We're practicing. That was that was a test run. Normally for vlogging I don't script anything, but Cheryl needs extra help right now because she just got done editing a video and her brain is somewhere else. So the one that I liked the best I think is this one, because you look like James Bond. That's quite the statement. James Bond, everybody. And then the funniest one was this one. Oh, that's a good one. That's the funniest one? Another very nice one was... So much pressure. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah, that background was great. Mm. So, got some good ones. Her, all of her photos turned out great. Mine were like 30% okay. Hers were like 95% fine because somebody knows how to pose for photos better than somebody else. And I might be her who knows how to pose better than I do. <laughs> Anyways, Christmas dinner was lovely. We had a great time. We've been sitting and chatting for a while. Uh, she edited the video that she did. We'll link to each other's videos, but I'll link to the video that we did for her channel here as well as in the description. So be sure to check that out. And then we'll go from there. But I'm going to pack up and take my laundry home finally. And then we'll be shacking up with memes here soon because I'm house sitting, going from house sitting a pug to house sitting a cat, which I think is going to be fine. But I have a feeling she's probably going to like gnaw on me in my sleep. So we'll see. You look so sweet and innocent. I know I know the truth memes. 
I know the truth. This is what cat ownership looks like. Uh, 